Order members, order. Mr. Sidney Anderson has been given leave to make a statement on the Loch Reed fishing strategy, which fills the criteria set in standing order uh, 24. Will their members wish to be called? They should do, should do by rising in their places continually. All members called will have up to three minutes to speak on the subject matter. And also, I'd remind members that I will not take any point of order in this or any other matter until this item of business it has been concluded. If that is clear, we shall proceed. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to raise this matter of the day. It is a matter of the day that I wish I did not have to raise, for it relates to a terrible tragedy that has affected my constituency and touched all our hearts. On the 20th of March, a party of experienced fishermen from Portadown Pikers Angling Club set off for what was a weekend camping and fishing at Loch Ray in County Westmeath. What should have been a happy occasion quickly turned to tragedy. Three of the men got into serious difficulties on the lake when the weather took a turn for the worst. Two were rescued from the water and one was lost in the water. Within a few hours, David Warnock, aged just 27, passed away in hospital. David lived in Ridge Hill, and not only was he a keen angler and chairman of Poor Down Pikers, but he was also an accomplished hockey player who played for Armagh Hockey Club, and he leaves a partner and a four-year-old son. Thankfully, John Trimble, aged 60, who was also rescued, made steady progress in hospital and was later discharged. And despite his traumatic experience, John returned to the scene of the tragedy to help with the search of his missing friend, Darrell Burke. Darrell was aged just 30. He was a landscape gardener from Portadown, and his wife is expecting their fourth child in a few weeks. As time passed, it became clear that the search was for the recovery of a body. Thankfully, the family's anxious wait came to an end on Saturday when Darrell's body was eventually recovered. This is indeed a terrible tragedy, but at least the Burke family can now have some closure. All the men were well known in County Armagh and beyond. The community is totally stunned by what has happened, and they are still trying to take it in. It is time such as this that you realise just what community spirit is really like. I have witnessed an amazing outpouring of sympathy, compassion and love, and I know it is something the families greatly appreciate. I have spoken to some of the family members, and I cannot find words to express the depth of grief and despair. Their, their hearts are totally broken, but our, and our hearts go out to them. I want to pay tribute to all who were involved in the search and recovery operation at Loch Ree. We are so grateful to them for all they have done. Mr Speaker, over this last two weeks, the Portadown and Wider County Armagh community have rallied behind the families involved in this tragedy, sending consignments of food and warm clothing to those involved in the rescue at Loch Ree, a genuine example of a community united in grief. I know this has been greatly, greatly appreciated by the families involved in this tragic accident on the Portadown Pikers Angling Club. I trust the House will join with me now to offer its support and its condolences to the families of David Warnock and Darrell Burke and to waste John Trimble a full recovery. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would wish to concur with the comments that my colleague Cindy Anderson and others have made in the House this afternoon. There is still a great sense of disbelief, not only in the community in Portadown, but further afield. The two young men, both experienced anglers, have been lost in such tragic circumstances. Like my colleague, I was able to attend an event recently where I met some of the family members impacted, and it really hit home the sense of loss and pain that those family members were feeling. I would also like to pay tribute to those both north and south of the border who helped search for those that were missing over a period of over two weeks. My colleague David Simpson, the Member of Parliament for Upper Ban, last week went to Loch Ree and was greatly touched by the community spirit and the endurance of those involved. I trust that in the dark days ahead, that community spirit will continue to sustain the families of those lost and the others impacted by this terrible tragedy. William Irwin. Mr. Irwin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, can I say that I concur with the previous speakers? This tragedy that unfolded in Loch Ree, which claims the, that claimed the lives of David Warnock and Darrell Burke, have shocked the community in, in County Amman and indeed further afield. And in the aftermath of this awful tragedy, we have w witnessed such a huge coming together of the community to assist in providing help and indeed supplies, including donations for the families struggling, struggling with this ordeal. 
The efforts uh, of all those involved in the search has been commendable and indeed deeply moving. I was relieved to hear uh, that the body of Darrell Burke was recovered on Saturday, as this has been such an awful uh, ordeal for the family. To endure day after day, and at last they can plan to um, have a final farewell, farewell for Darrell. It's just so tragic. Uh, it's just uh, such a terrible outcome to what was to be an exciting trip. How tragic and painfully unpredictable life can be that such an occasion has turned uh, so terribly sad. Can I also wish John Trimble a full recovery, as I'm quite sure has been such a traumatic experience for him and I, indeed his family. And also I wish to pass on my sincere sympathy uh, to the family of David Warnock uh, and his father and, and family and indeed to his partner and young child and to Doral Bork's family uh, and assure them of my thoughts and prayers in the coming days.